Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from Western Kentucky, where fall tillage is taking place. And recently, several viewers have asked to see fall tillage on the headland of the field. This is the boundary where all the farm equipment throughout the year turns around. The planter, the sprayer, the combines, the grain carts have run back and forth on this area, and the ground becomes very compacted and hard. In order to correct this problem and to prepare the soil for next year's corn crop, the ground is loosened by a subsoiler. This pass allows the corn's roots to grow down and absorb nutrients and moisture that otherwise would be extremely limited in the hard ground. In this video, I'm going to hop up in the cab of a 600 horsepower Challenger MT875E two-track tractor. This big machine is pulling a John Deere 915 V-Ripper set up with 11 shanks working 18 inches down in the ground. These shanks fracture the compaction while leaving the surface of the field relatively undisturbed. During the tractor ride along, I'll be visiting with my friend Billy, who is the farmer that owns this tractor and subsoiler. I'll talk to him about the challenges of working up compacted soil, the advantages, and you'll also see some of the issues this equipment runs into while running over the hard ground. Working a foot and a half deep with an 18 foot wide implement often uses every ounce of power. This 12 cylinder 1025 cubic inch Agco power engine can provide. The tractor has a torque rating of 2095 foot per pound ratio at 1500 RPM. You can see the tractor is on auto guidance. It's making perfect 18 foot passes across the field and you can see that here on the display screen. And as we reach the headland, here's a series of beeps and then Billy will take over the tractor and turn it back onto its next pass. So the shank broke? Yeah. I had to pull up a ripple and raise and to move it. Well, we can see what happens when one of these shanks gives away. It really digs down in there. Here we can see where the ripper popped out of the ground. I dropped. See if you see the point right there. I dropped the point off too. Probably did it back there where it's gone. I'll go check it out. See, it's, I'm sure it's there, but it's buried. They're getting really warm. See the wing on the side. That's a that's actually a point for off of a. Okay. So 
So here we can see the point. That's what's doing the fracturing. And then this gives it the stabilization. This is something we build right here. It's not deer. So I've seen Matt welding on those in the winter time. Does that extra groove just give it? Well, it makes it some, last so much longer. Yeah. It'll wear out. So probably saves it about, I'd say at least 50%, maybe more life on it. Those were humped up when we started. Mm, they're getting see, smooth. They're almost flat. They're almost knocked off now. So what happens to them? Do you re-weld on them then to bring we them back? We can. We'll wash them up and and uh, re-weld them. If they don't get too thin in the back, they'll wear out at the back too. Uh, try to fix them before that happens. the two. It works really well. 
and then that lets it also talk to the other tractors out it here. It will. Well, yes. There's a radio signal. We have an antenna, and it talks to the other tractor that's across the field. Not this one, but another one. When we're seeding, we have all of them uh, talking to each other, but we're using that. That's uh, a little more precise job that needs to right. everything match up. So as we finish our last few feet, you can really feel that compaction from where the sprayer ran through there. <laughs> There's a really good stone. You'll, you'll see the river jump back here behind. So you can see here, one of the stones has broken a shear bolt again. And what happens is the shank just stays popped out of the ground because it broke the bolt. It does. So this bolt breaks so you don't lose your whole shank, just kind of gives away. Well, you'd have been in the shank or break something else. It did. It'd break the, the tripping mechanism or something. If it didn't give away, something's got to give when you get a bad enough rock. What I'm doing at other boats, I'm sacrificing the end of it to I use it as my punch.
as Billy takes off for the next field, we can take a look at some of the rocks that they're contending with out here in the field. There's some pretty good sized stones. I'll have to come in here with the skid steer next spring and grab this and haul it off to the edge of the field. You can see where the point on the ripper struck the rock and the power that these tractors have to pull that out from underneath the ground. So it's good that they have that breakaway mechanism, especially when they're pulling something this size up that you wouldn't have known was down there. But there are definitely some good sized stones hiding anywhere from 16 to 18 inches underneath the soil in this field. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.